refers to you, Sahil Joshi. Please tell me what exactly is happening in Mah uh, Maharashtra. It appears every six months, one of the allies of the MVA, the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi, breaks away. First, it was Shiv Sena in 2022. It was uh, the Pawar, uh, Sharad Pawar faction that broke the NCP in 2023. Now it appears the Congress. Are we seeing the Congress now likely to split in the next few days? Well, uh, Rajdeep, it clearly can be seen that the Congress will be split in the next few days. And why, why I am saying that is basically because uh, the arithmetic was not in favor of the BJP. And consistently, the various surveys uh, you know, clearly showed that uh, if the three partners remain together in Mahavika Sagari, uh, that will be a tough time. Uh, for the for the BJP in upcoming Lok Sabha election. So one after the other, uh, the BJP tried, uh, you know, uh, their best uh, to look for a softer spot. The first one, of course, was Ekna Chinde, and there was a, a huge uh, issue within the Shiv Sena, uh, and the Ekna Chinde could manage to get 40 MLAs on its side and also the party's name and the symbol. Uh, again, uh, the survey showed that, uh, you know, still it is not working out for the BJP as far as the Lok Sabha is concerned, because... You know, we have to understand the Maharashtra stand, sends 48 MPs uh, to, to Lok Sabha, uh, the second most after, uh, after Uttar Pradesh. So, you know, the BJP definitely cannot afford uh, to, uh, to keep uh, this particular state where, you know, they may be able to face a situation where their tally will go down uh, to say 14 uh, to 20. You know, they, they were 42 as NDA in 2014 and 2019 as well. So looking at the scenario, it was very clear that this is what is going to happen. Even after Ajit Pawar switched over uh, to the BJP and Shiv Sera, there was still a gap what we could be seen. Uh, so obviously the Congress, you know, they cannot uh, take, the, uh, uh, take the people from the Congress the way they had taken uh, from NCP or Shiv Sena because uh, it will be uh, a difficult challenge to do. But what they can do in Congress is that the Congress is made of different satraps like say uh, Ashok Chawad now has switched over to the uh, is likely to switch over to the BJP is yet to announce that but, but one can clearly see that uh, he is going to the BJP. His sphere of influence is in Marathwada especially around Nanded but also he has his people in the Congress organization. He has been with Congress since uh, since beginning. His father has been uh, a stalwart within the Congress uh, in, in Maharashtra Congress. Uh, looking at that, if Ashok Chavan is taken, over, uh, taken, uh, taken in BJP, it affects the Congress in Marathwada. So similarly, uh, uh, it's likely that some, some, some leaders from uh, Vidarbha and Marathwada, which, which the Congress uh, in upcoming elections was looking at uh, better results in these two regions, uh, it looks like that uh, right. they will come into the BJP as the fourth partner uh, in this Mahayuti government. So uh, this is not the first uh, in Congress and this is not going to be the last in the Congress. We'll see much more defections in uh, uh, you know coming month. Uh, can I, can I just stop you there, Sail? You're saying there will be more defections from the Congress. Let's bring in Charan Singh Sapra. Charan Singh Sapra, this was the one state where it appeared, one large state where the opposition appeared to have the edge over the BJP. What happens? Uddhav Thakre's Shiv Sena has split. Sharad Pawar's NCP has split and now according to Sahil, the Congress could be splitting. What, where does this leave the Congress party? If you don't win Maharashtra, you're really in up, uh, up in a very difficult position in, in the 2024 elections. Yeah, Rajdeep, we are aware of this fact, what you're talking, but uh, uh, the way Mr. Sahil Joshi has tried to explain the arithmetic of uh, Bharatiya Janta Party or the arithmetic which Bharatiya Janta Party is thinking about Maharashtra, I feel they might be working on the arithmetic, but they are failing in the chemistry. We have seen the uh, three parties which are ruling Maharashtra. They are not getting along with each other. Uh, recently, we have seen that BJP ML Ganpat Gaikwad, he has shot uh, uh, a councillor from Shinde Sena. We have been seeing differences between Chagan Bujbal and Suhas Kande in Nasik. There are differences between Bharat Gogavle and Aditi Tatkare in Konkan. There are differences between Pankaja Munde and Dhananja Munde. So their own chemistry is not working. And the people of Maharashtra are watching the whole scene. Uh, uh, what is the BJP up to? They want to split NCP. They have split uh, Sena. No, now that, trying Mr. To split Sapra, the BJP may be up to whatever Maharashtra it is. Why are, your M no, no, why are your MLAs willing to, uh, so, uh, willing to leave? If a former chief minister is also now willing to leave, someone who was seen as one of your faces in Maharashtra, Questions will be asked, no, about your, the way you all are managing the party. 
Why? We can blame the BJP. What about Mr. Ashok Chavan, who apparently says that your party has no communication between the high command and the state unit anymore? See, let me complete my earlier part with one sentence uh, that the people of Maharashtra are watching what BJP is doing. People of Maharashtra are not going to support BJP like they have not supported it, uh, them in Karnataka. Uh, now, let me come to your point. Uh, this is basically, you know, I feel there are a couple of reasons. One reason can be the ED, the fear of ED, like uh, there is a saying in Hindi, ki istifa to bahana hai, apne aap ko ED se bachana hai. Maybe that is the one reason. And another reason can be the opportunism. Maybe our leaders might be watching that there is a better opportunity that side. So that is why they might be going. But major reason what I feel is the fear of ED. 